Dear Diary, this is part two of Is Larkin Grimm a Republican? That's a rhetorical question. She is a hardcore Republican. In some ways, she's one of the worst people you will ever meet. She's one of the worst people who has ever lived. I'll give you a quick story, which I've, I've talked about before and diarized elsewhere. But the story is astounding. This story is unbelievable. This story alone proves that she and her sidekick, Master Lee, two of the worst people to ever live. Watch this. Now, I was robbed, blind, made homeless by Harry Stuckey. Stole my life savings. Stole my seven-year rent-free mansion. Stole my business. Stole my future. Stole most of my past. I know you're going to say, wait a minute, I didn't fucking steal your past. I said, because I worked my ass off for 20 years. Remember, I was celibate most of my life, turning down gorgeous teenage girls naked in my bed, begging me to fuck them, because I wanted to focus on art and music. And then 20 years later, to have people destroy, or sometimes it was days later, destroy all my art and music means I worked for 20 years for nothing. All that work was for nothing. And I've lost tons and tons of work because of Larkin and Master Lee. Um, and this guy who robbed my place and the, the Trachtenberg's crimes and lies and Jessica Delfino and David Danzig's crimes and lies and Tom Richard's crimes and lies. Everyone fucks over people weaker eyes. than them. It's the food chain of humanity. Don't you get it? It's a food chain. People love to pick on people weaker than them. Very seldom will humans go after somebody stronger than them. It's a food chain. You go after somebody weaker than you, they go after somebody weaker than them. Then that person goes after somebody weaker than them. Nobody goes after their oppressors. Everybody goes after their allies or people weaker than them, right? The gays go after lesbians. Blacks go after the KKK go after blacks, so the blacks go after gays. The blacks didn't go after KKK. You've got a lot of powerful blacks in the country today. A lot of blacks with guns. They ain't shooting the cake, they ain't going after the rednecks. They're going after their fellow blacks. You see? They're beating up their own women. And then those women don't beat up their men. Those women beat up their babies. And those babies then don't beat up their mom for beating them up. They beat up somebody who never Melody beat them up. Line. That's the human chain Melody line of fucking song. savagery. Tentatively titled no one goes after the bad person. Everyone well. goes after the good person. A one, two, and that's one reason why I've never wanted to live to on this come out and, and it's never going to be fault solved. It can't. It's human nature. To, all you can do is eliminate the humans, the and you should. I want but otherwise, there's no hope your legs I'm just hoping they fucking kill each other off. I hope there's I some want serious to take war shit. You Everything's getting worse. Me. Good. Fuck each other enough so you all fucking start killing each other. You're and violence is fucking shooting for you. Good. Kill each, kill each other. Kill each other. And please kill me. I want to so let's get back to our point. Oh, so here's the quick room. one. One Just as we'll one anecdote. It's still stunning. It's still stunning. So um, I was I robbed. Now remember, I wasn't just robbed of everything. I was robbed of everything night, that would come before five them. times Spreading in like two years in completely kind of unrelated events. Really now, you guys would say, well, no, no, stairwell. you must have done something it's wrong because no one has bad luck. No one has really bad luck? Are you retarded? Remember, Japan got hit by, <laughs> they just got hit by an earthquake, the most devastating, they said, in their recorded history, 9.0 on the Richter scale, whatever. That's a huge fucking earthquake. It fucking leveled entire cities. Right? You got 300,000 people who no longer have a place to stay. Where are you going to put them? In the gymnasium? What the fuck are you going to put them? But when you add in the tsunami, <laughs> and you say, all right, well, that's, that's superhuman devastation. It is. Why not? Why don't you just throw in a nuclear, a nuclear catastrophe at the same time? Okay, so that's pretty bad luck. Now, that's my life, but only if new catastrophes happened every 24 hours. And some of it is my fault. For instance, nobody's afraid to rip me off because they know I'm not going to fucking stab them in the face. There's a lot of people in this world you have to be afraid to rip off. Nobody's afraid to fuck with me because I'm the nicest person who ever lived. And do I change? Do I become an asshole like everybody else to protect myself? Is that the solution? I have to be an asshole like everybody else and stop being a nice guy because nice guys finish last? Fuck no. I don't want to do that. Those are my only two choices. Either be fucked every day of my life or become a fucking asshole like everyone else. That's You call that a choice? Fuck you, Larkin Grimm. Um, so, I was robbed by so many people. Moving companies. I was robbed by the police. I was robbed by the fucking DA. I was robbed by my best friends. I was robbed by everybody. 
all fucking assholes. I was arrested twice in completely unrelated events where I was playing guitar on stage and shows. Come on, that's fucking insane. Okay? That's insane. That the police would arrest me. It's one thing for an asshole to fucking try to have me arrested. But for the police to say, yeah, we're going to stick with that. We're going to go with this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's playing guitar in a show, really. And you, with the restraining order, went to see him in the show. Well, we should throw him in jail. That doesn't sound like you, you set him up. No, not at all. Then the DA would then say, look at it and go, oh, he was playing guitar in a show and the person who got a restraining order against him, that was dubious to begin with, and then they went to the show, he, they paid to see a show he was playing guitar in and then had him arrested for being in the same building with him? That, that's, really, that's really sleazy. That's really dishonest. That's really not even legal. Filing a false, false police report, etc. Because they misled the cops when they gave him the details. Um, and the DA later found out, oh, they weren't really all that honest with the cops. The DAs are still fighting both of those. Both of those arrests were some of the fakest arrests in human history. Shockingly bad. They're still prosecuting those. DAs in Manhattan and DAs in Brooklyn. So it's not even a fluke. It is, you see that? It's not the exception to the rule. It's the rule. Evil. Everywhere you turn. And... Lucky for me, this is my good luck coming. How many people in New York City have a friend, a bandmate, who's got two or three empty bedrooms and is in the same neighborhood from where the, the guy works and stays? Perfect. Everything's perfect. It's kismet or whatever they say. And um, Master Lee agrees to let me stay in one of the rooms. But uh, that day, for instance, this is in the cold winter, very bad. And uh, being homeless in the winter is not as good as it sounds. You'd be surprised. It's much worse than you think it is because you forget all the little shit. And I'm going to spare you that right now. Master Lee says, you can stay at our place tonight. He said, but I had to do their laundry. I had to pay $7 to do their laundry. I had to carry their groceries very far. I had to, and pay $5 towards their groceries, which I would not be allowed to share. I had to clean their bathroom. I had to do their dishes. No problem. I'm willing to do that in exchange. You know, you guys are going to give me a place to stay. You could rent that room out for a lot more. And I had to pay them $20. This was to stay one night. Being homeless, but I would have somewhere to stay for one night. Okay? And these are two, two of the people closest to me. One is in a multiple bands with me. I do all that. And then I'm waiting in the uh, sidewalk cafe in their basement, waiting to hear from them because they say we're da uptown and we'll be coming back towards the apartment in the East Village around 1 a.m. We'll contact you then. So I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. Wait, pause to save. Oh, my God. You know why this diary is so sloppy? Because it keeps obliterating everything I record. It is now, it has been two hours it has taken me to try and diarize this fucking 35 minutes. Two hours to do 35 minutes of work. And I have to keep digressing because everyone told me apples are the best and I said they were shit and I'm so fucking sick of this fucking broken record, dear diary. Every day of my life is agony. I have important legal shit to do. I have court early in the morning. I have to do all kinds of errands before I go to court. I have a flat tire on my bike I have to fucking fix before I go to court. I have all the shit to do. And every minute of every day of my fucking life is more new bullshit and new headaches. People always say, let it go. I'm not crying over something that happened five years ago. I'm crying about something that's happening in 10 minutes from now, in 20 minutes from now, in two hours from now, tomorrow, the day after, the day after, the day after, the day after. I'm complaining about things that happen every fucking day, that happened every single fucking day I was alive. I'm not letting it go because it's going to happen tomorrow. Do you not get that? Holy fuck. I can't, I, I can't even keep track of what I've said and what I haven't. What's on these recordings and what isn't. Consider I've recorded the shit fucking three to six times in a row now. Seven times. A couple of these bits. Fucking, I'm on the fucking seventh fucking time. Um, is this piece of shit still recording? I see the numbers thing, but I don't see that moving. Fucking garbage. <sighs> I do everything for them. Where did it even end? I, I was doing this ages ago. I paid them $20. Remember, $20 to me is like, no joke, $20 to me is about maybe $300 to you. 
Remember, that's 20 meals. $20 to me is 20 meals. How much would 20 meals cost you? And that's me living large. You should see what I live like when I'm not living large. When I'm not living large, I'm eating mustard sa sandwiches. Um, right? When I was a when I was doing great with money, I was making seven grand a year because I'm the smartest and most efficient human who ever lived. I ride a bike everywhere. I pay zero dollars a year for transportation costs. How much do you pay again? Thank you. You agree, and I agree. We all agree that I'm smarter and more efficient than everyone else. Um, my yes, transportation costs in the most one of the most expensive cities on earth is zero dollars a month. Not bad, Christopher. You know something that we don't know. Pausing to save, I guess. So I did all that work for them. And then it was fucking frigid, freezing, blustery, horrible winter out. And I'm homeless, remember? So I don't have, it's not like I can get gloves when I need them. Um, I have a lot of limitations. Um, when it's slushy out, I have wet socks and wet shoes. Nothing I can do about it. I can't go take them off. How do you take off? In, in sleet, how do you take off your shoes and socks and get around? You put on, you would just go home and, and take off the socks or swap your socks and shoes. But when you're homeless, you can't do that. See, you forget all the thousands of difficulties. And remember, I was homeless because all my friends had robbed me and all the fucking police had robbed me and the government had robbed me. The DAs, all everyone fucking robbed me. The reporters robbed me. Every moving company robbed me. I got robbed so many times. It's unfathomable. And Larkin Grimm, a Republican piece of shit, says things like, well, you got to take responsibility for your life. It's like, I know, Anne Frank, why is she choosing to live in an attic? My God, why did you choose? Why did you make that choice, Anne Frank? You choose. You have responsibility of your own life, just we, like we rich Republicans do. You know, we, we, we're never homeless. None of our friends are ever homeless. Because you got a place to stay. If Larkin, Larkin gets everything as a handout to her, and, and so she has no understanding of what it's like to work. Um, she has no ethics. Um, she doesn't know what it's like to struggle. She has no sympathy for the underdog. That's a classic Republican trait. And it's despicable. And it's dishonest and despicable. So after I did all that shit for them, I had to wait in sidewalk cafes downstairs, even though I was exhausted and wet and miserable, because they said, we'll be back downtown at the apartment by like 1 a.m. We're uptown going to some show or something like that. And we'll contact you at 1. Because you did your, you did our laundry. You, you paid twenty dollars plus twelve dollars towards our laundry and groceries. You did our bathroom. You did our dishes. Yada yada yada. You could stay there one night. Then at one a.m. they said, "Oh, yeah, you can't stay tonight. No reason. There was no reason." Larkin just was like, "Yeah, I don't think I want him around tonight." It's like, well, that wasn't how the agreement works. But Republicans, you'll find, don't often keep their word. That's another way you can detect a Republican. I always keep my word because I'm a liberal, a real liberal, not a fake liberal. Most liberals are fake. And, um, and I mean, I've reported the story before, but, but it's still it's astounding that at 1 a.m. they said, you can't stay here. And I'm like, wow, I'm wet and cold and I have nowhere to go. I went to a Dunkin' Donuts and cried for an hour and tried to figure out what the fuck to do. I mean, people say, well, you know, life's rough. No, 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 no. Try it sometime. Be out in the cold, snow, sleet, in wet socks and wet shoes, and nowhere to go. Try it. Now, obviously, it's a thousand times worse than that because I'm not like most hom homeless people. I have a part-time job. Now, being homeless sucks, but being homeless with a part-time job super sucks because, oh, I have nowhere to sleep tonight. But I have to be showered and ready for work tomorrow. That's going to be even trickier now, isn't it? Having all these obligations, right? Being homeless sucks. Imagine being homeless and poor, but you have four babies you have to take care of. Well, it's going to be exponentially much worse now. So remember that. My life's a lot harder than I, I, I let on. It, and I, I tell people, it's impossible. Like, yeah, whatever, it's impossible. No, no, no. Try it. Late at night, 1 a.m., in the snow and sleet. Nowhere to go. Try it. Is Dunkin' Donuts going to let me fall asleep on their table for, for five hours? What? Are they, what, what? Where, am I, where am I going to shower before work tomorrow? 
You see, you don't get it. You're, oh, you overlook all these facts that I leave out. And I have to leave them out. So these diaries aren't fucking 900,000 hours long, each of them. There's zillions of little facts. Remember, the devil's in the details. All the little shit I leave out. That's the real problem. My life's impossible. Almost every day of my life. Right now, I'm indoors, luckily, recording this. But as I'm sitting recording this, everything in my life is being destroyed. I could have been finishing musical projects. But... Even that's pointless. I finish music projects and then people destroy them. What's the point? What's the point of doing anything? People say, oh, you got a bad attitude, Christopher. I got a bad attitude. Really. When when I was thrown in jail for not committing any crime, you, you sure that's attitude? I don't. Th I think that's actually physical. I don't think that's in my head. I'll double check, though, assholes. Pausing to save. Um, this was only supposed to be a, a, a brief anecdote because uh, I wanted to get to some of the more modern stuff. Lots of people have heard the story of how they fucked me over that time. That was only one of the times Larkin and Masterly fucked me over. And remember, I don't have any options. You guys think, you guys are, remember, most humans are Republicans. And they think, they judge others by their own experience. You've, I'm, watch this, I'm going to be pretty smart about this. You've probably never been homeless. You probably, uh, worst case scenario, have a family you could go stay with. I don't. Larkin does. Like a sister, she's got a shitload of sisters she could stay with. I don't. You think everyone has, there's, you know, there's people out there who are orphans. There are people right now in foster homes being raped. Their only crime, they did nothing wrong. But they're being raped by their foster dads and no one gives a fuck about them. Because people are like um, Master Lee and Larkin Grimm and they only care about themselves and only care about themselves and only care about themselves and only care about themselves. And these are the humans we must destroy. Or don't. If you want the world to just get worse and worse and worse every year, then don't stand up to Republicans and bullies and assholes and liars and people who break their deals. Um, so I don't even remember if I've recorded this next part yet. T let's talk about what happened today and yesterday. Uh, because the point here is we're trying to show that R Larkin Grimm is a fucking ugly Republican. And not that she, I mean, she'll probably never even hear this diary. She's not that kind of person. She doesn't really give a fuck about anything. She's really a sociopath. She's very talented. Um, one of the more talented females I'll ever meet, but she's a sociopath as a human being. And I've always said that. We've known that for thousands of years. The greatest artists are usually the most psychotic and fucking mentally ill and biggest fucking assholes. I'm an anomaly. I'm the rare creative genius who's totally reliable. Not flaky, not flighty. Um, but I defy all stereotypes. Thank you very much. Um, Example. So today I was in. I was helping them move, and Larkin. Um, we were. I was in their car. Well, Master Lee paid for it, but Larkin uses it. Wow, that's great. I would love to have a car that I didn't have to work or pay for. Wow, that's great. What's your trick, Larkin? Oh, you had a vagina. Uh, that's handy. And breasts. Oh, that really helped. Um, really helps. Makes a difference. Or doesn't? Larkin, you're gonna say having being born with pussy and tits doesn't make a difference? It does. If we were in another country, you might be a fucking white slave right now. So shut the fuck up. Um, in this country, you have a massive advantage. Guys will buy you shit. You can get anything you want. Um, it's not fair. But she's like, you stink. You know, you got to wash your clothes. And I said, oh, interesting. I got to wash my clothes. You say, huh? Really? Well, let's let's think this through. Okay, I'm helping you guys move. I'm doing you a favor. I am helping you pack up some of your shit. Now, I'm not being al totally altruistic, of course. I'm not going to pretend I am. I wouldn't be helping them move, probably, because they've done so much nasty shit to me, if it wasn't in exchange for maybe getting credits to stay in their old place because they're now moving. They've now moved into their new place because she terrorized his brothers and terrorized the roommates and everything else like that. It turned into a giant war, and they masterly lost his home of his whole adult life. Uh, I'm not sure he's happy about that, but he had to make a choice between his love life and his housing situation. And he's under her thumb, and that's the way women are. They terrorize men every day. Um, and they get away with it because nobody stands up to the bullies. Most men just smile and go, yes, dear. Um, in fact, we should almost cheer. <laughs> we should almost cheer when a man kills his wife because... I can, we can prove it. I'll do any study you fucking want. Women terrorize men more than men terrorize women. And interestingly enough, a lot of recent surveys have said I was right all along. They say we, we look to do it. Women are actually more violent than men. They just aren't as successful at it. And so men get all the credit because they're much better at it and finish the job. Um, 
but women are more. And I can say that's totally true. I've lived with male roommates. I've lived with female roommates. Ma females are more violent. I know lots of females who've lived with males and females, and they'll tell you the same thing. I'd rather live with males. Males are dirtier and sloppier and shit, but men don't have all the psychotic drama of women. We've known this for a thousand years, people. Let's grow up and fucking be honest about it. Uh, oh, fuck. I gotta move fast. Uh, I say, Larkin, I got... Um, all right, so let's see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come out here in the 93-degree weather on my bicycle and be sweating within minutes. Okay, now I'm going to start to stink. You know, uh, you could start, men can start to stink minutes after sweat, sweating. You know, this is New York City. You can shower and then be sweating minutes later and have to take another shower. Can you take a shower every five minutes? Not every one of us has that luxury, Larkin. Larkin has no job duties. She, she can do whatever the fuck she wants. She can sleep all day if she wants because everything is given to her as a handout. And so she doesn't understand that not everyone can take a cold bath whenever they need to or want to. Not everyone can do laundry when they want to. You can, Larkin, because you're privileged. You just make your husband do it for you. You see how Republicans operate? And um, I said, okay, Larkin, so if I wash my clothing, now I only have one outfit for doing grungy work, like moving and carrying boxes and getting hot and sweaty in fucking humid, super humid, 93 degree weather, when it's fucking super humid. And um, and even Master Lee was getting cranky because he was so hot and humid. And um, I think Larkin might have been too. But um, I said, okay, I wash my clothes, and then they then they get sweaty immediately. So do I wash my clothes every half hour? Is that your suggestion? I'm I'm willing to hear you out, Larkin, but you're not willing to finish your half baked stupid Republican ideas. And she won't allow you to even talk. She'll be like, you know, shut up, shut up, don't say another word, like. You're the. I was reading the paper, and then you attacked me for having smelly clothing. And it's not even my smelly clothing she was talking about. She was full of shit. There was rotting plants in the car. We were moving all these rotting plants. But again, you can't reason with a woman. They don't like facts. Pausing to save. Fuck. I'm going to... I digress so much, but I try to make other digressions uh, edumacational. End of part two. We should be able to wrap it up into part three. What the fuck?